Vsauce. I'm Jake, and in video games, one of the most famous fighting moves is the Shoryuken, also known as the Rising Dragon Fist or Dragon Punch from the Street Fighter series. It's a jumping uppercut that, when performed, lifts the opponent off the ground and into the air. So let's figure out, scientifically, what would happen if you were hit by one. In the game, Ken can produce one of the most powerful Shoryukens. So for our calculations, we'll use him as the one delivering it. And for his opponent, let's pick one of my favorite characters, the Russian wrestler, Zangief. Here to demonstrate what we're talking about are Glenn and Glangief. In Street Fighter, particularly in Street Fighter 2, when Ken uses the Dragon Punch on a stunned Zangief, he lifts Zangief one full Zangief height in the air. Or we can use the new unit of measurement I just created, called a Zangief. Using that knowledge, we can calculate that Ken's velocity at launch is 26.3 miles per hour, about the same airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow. If Ken didn't have to share his kinetic energy with Zangief through the punch, Ken would be able to jump 23 feet into the air from standing, which is impressive considering the world record for standing high jump is five feet and four inches. But let's get back to the dragon punch. In the game, Ken does a crouching launch, making him about half his height. So he rises two and a half feet in the process of launching off the ground. During this process, he converts potential energy in his muscles into all of that kinetic energy, giving us 7,569.5 newtons of force, enough to lift over 1,700 pounds off the ground. That's about 11 times the average weight of an adult male. So Ken could lift something the weight of a dairy cow. But what would this force actually do to someone the size and strength of Zangief? After being hit with the Shoryuken, Zangief accelerates upwards incredibly quickly, over about 0.1 seconds. If we use the average surface area of an adult male's fist, that gives us four inches squared. If we apply that, we can calculate that Ken would be delivering 66 pounds per square inch. Let's also not forget that in Street Fighter, the point of contact where the strike lands is generally denoted by a blue impact star, and it tends to happen under the belt, meaning that Zangief gets hit, one Zangief in the air, with a punch to the groin. But I mean, you know, we could always just do the uppercut in a traditional place like under, under the chin? The closest analogy to an uppercut to the face is hanging. In 1872, the measured drop was introduced in Britain and was designed to deliver 5,600 newtons of force. It consistently and reliably broke the victim's neck. Now, Zangief has a pretty thick neck, but Ken can deliver twice the breaking force. Another consequence of the measured drop, decapitation. So what would happen to a normal-sized person with a normal-sized neck? If the average person were hit with a shore you can not below the chin, let's say you were hit in the chest, you would fly about 17 feet in the air. Also, your insides would be crushed. If you were hit right under the chin, well, things are looking up. Way up, in fact, because your head would be severed from your body and fly 187 feet into the air. If only there was a way to show what it would look like in real life, you ask. Well, fantastic question, because we just happened to build a machine that shows just that. So this machine has been designed to replicate the exact specifications of Ken's fist, including all the force and hopefully the aftermath that will happen. Let's see what's going down. Sorry, dude. That was Awesome, and now typically when Ken does a Shoryuken, his fist is on fire, but we're not doing that because this is California, there is a drought, and we are responsible. Let's knock another head off. On our second attempt, the fist just missed the bottom of the chin, degloving the face and taking off the top of the head. And there's the brain. Hi, brain. 
Hi, Jake. How you doing? I'm okay. How's the air? So being hit by a Shoryuken would be... devastating, even if you were someone as strong as Zangief. If you were hit by one in real life, it wouldn't be a KO, it'd be more of a KYHO and knock your head off. And, as always, thanks for watching. I'd like to thank AMC and Into the Badlands for allowing me to knock off a person's head, well I guess a dummy's head, but it looks really good. If you're into Shoryukens and insane martial arts, then you should definitely check out the trailer for Into the Badlands. It's amazing, and so are you. Bye.